we seen a lot of water. The water was up to Bobby's. You see where the line's at? The water was up to there. Oh, it's been a lot of garbage. We've been working. Since 7.30 this morning, we've been working. You know, it's bad. And somebody terrorists, they stuff blew off too. They furniture from their terrorists blew off off the balcony on 100th Street and J Street. We came back this morning. I saw tweets that it was uh, that books were floating around our space last night, but from what I could tell, it didn't look that deep. But when we came in the morning, we saw the water line all the way back to our bathrooms, 28 inches high. We were set for, we put everything up off the ground on uh, Sunday, and uh, we had 28 inches of water. So everything that was in a tub, 20 inches off the ground, got picked up, dumped on the floor. Between 15 and 50,000, probably. And we don't have flood insurance. I was just informed by our broker. Because it was very expensive, and we thought, uh, water for that was 400 feet away and eight feet down would come this far. The council member was just by and said they're figuring out what's available from FEMA. Um, we lost our computer system, our security system. Uh, I gotta get the door fixed. It's the water, the water leaving the place broke the window of the door. So we gotta get that fixed. I don't know how long it will take, maybe a week or so for us to get back open. Well, uh, we received about three feet of flooding last night. It's really not too bad. We took necessary precautions, moved everything up off the floor. So we're looking at kind of like a speedy recovery, I would say. So people got hit harder than others. I think everybody's right now is just trying to figure out the best way to cope with it. And uh, I mean, well, time will tell them. I mean, we plan on being reopened within a week. You know, it's hard to say right now, but actually I gotta go back inside because my insurance adjuster is inside right now.